Open it up. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Oh, that might have been for somebody else. I'm talking about the Lord and Jesus. I'm talking about the one that rose early Sunday morning. Can we give him a round of applause? Amen. 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 We thank God for all of you that are here on today. And I think I made a promise last week that the, the men will be here today to show the ladies how to march down the aisle. Come on, help me if you can. And then I, I do see some men back there lined up. This is our men's annual day. We thank all of you for coming, uh, especially our visitors, and thank God for Ken Jr. that's here in town. And uh, Deuce is in the house. Anybody know who Deuce is? Raise your hand, Deuce. Yeah, Deuce is in the house. So we thank God for him. And, um, all the rest of our villages, we want you to know that we're so glad to have you. We thank God for your presence, and we pray that we can have a good time in the Lord on today. Amen. 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 So I'm going to walk around, and then I'm going to get in line, and when we come down the aisle, I'll be standing help us out as well. Amen. Amen.
are glad to be together uh, just to have a good time in the Lord. Amen. Everybody glad to have a, a good time in the Lord? Amen. 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 I mean, he's worthy for worthy. us to do yes, what we do for him because he's just so good. Amen. 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 And uh, uh, how do y'all like the green? Lord, yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're trying to yeah. keep up with them women and hopefully that we might be able to do it for a day ago. So they put on a powerful program that we're just here trying to see what we can do. Amen. 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 So once again, thank you for being here, especially our visitors. We want you to know that you are very important to us and we pray that you have a good time in the Lord. My son-in-law, is that what I put up? The son-in-law? <laughs> son-in-law. Uh, I call him W.J. Uh, a great man of God. Amen. Great father, great Amen. husband. He's just great all the way around. You know what I'm saying? The only problem he has is he left-handed. <laughs> other than that, other than that, he's all right. It's good to see you, J.W. Amen. Amen. Uh, I have done my part now. I'm going to turn it over to a great friend of mine. His name is Audrey Dale Carter. Right. He is our master of ceremony. Amen. And um, uh, we're going to let him come in, in his own way. I'll put it like that. Amen. 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 Mitch is in the house. I think he thought I had forgotten. Mitch is here. Amen. Uh, 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 what that other boy? Amen. There you go. I mean, he, he walking even better. I don't know what's going on, but it's good to see all of you all and may God bless you and keep you in my prayers. Amen. Amen. Let's church say amen. 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 Meditate day and night. Uh -huh. Good morning again. We are our theme this morning. God honors strong men of faith. Yes, yes. So if you got the faith to believe that these men have come to put on a worship service to serve our God on this morning. Yes. Amen. I hear you say amen. 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 Yeah, all right. Yeah. I hear one brother say the other day, he said, don't y'all let me down. Now. <laughs> <laughs> we come to sing for the Lord, and we want to have some fun while we sing. We want to uh, not make you feel good, but we want to show y'all how this thing goes. All right. All right, all right. And so you told them that we'll go as print okay. uh, on this morning. We will have a scripture by Reverend Rodney Easton. And finally that, we will have a prayer by Gerald Patrick. So we will kind of sit back all right, all right. and relax, you know, and uh, if you feel like tapping, tap with us, stand up and pray the chills on, whatever you think it takes to get us on. You know, I know, uh, I think the Texas is going to be playing by 12 o'clock. And we was at the Texas game, you would be hollering out. Make it all count, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, uh, one of our elders, he's gone on the heaven on the floor. But he said, You can make all the noise you want in him. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about going to jail. All right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And whatever you want to do in here, praise the Lord. You're welcome to do it on this morning. Amen. 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 So now we will be in the hand of uh, Reverend Easton, who's going to give us our scripture for this morning. Praise the Lord. If you will stand with me for God's reading of God's word, we'll be reading from Romans chapter 12, so at verse 9. It says, Let love be without hypocrisy. Yes. Avoid what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Yes. Yes. Give preference to one another in honor, not lagging behind in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Yes. Rejoicing in hope. Persevering in tribulation, devoted to prayer, contributing to the needs of the saints, practicing hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward, toward one another. Do not be haughty in mind, but 
associate with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Never pay back evil for evil to anyone. Respect what is right in the sight of all men. If it's possible, so far as it depends on you, live peace, but live, but live peaceful with all men. I read for our consideration Romans 12, verses 9 through 18. May there be blessings to the hearers and doers and believers of God's word. Amen. 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 Yes, thank you.
before we do our welcome, we'd like everybody to stand so we can give uh, Elder Jones, Elder Hiley, Brother Bob, and a few more of the men that's not with us no more. We're going to give a moment of silence. I knew I had to drive. I felt my brakes go out. Right when I thought it was too tight, I took two wrongs. Uh -huh. God told me to put my signal on. Because right. eventually I had to make a right. Uh. I'm not messing around. I wish I had my Bible. Because I want to give God my best like a hand-me-down. Did you get that? All right. Okay. Did you get that? I got it. I got it. Okay. Because I'm a survivor. Right. Even when I couldn't make it. He was my provider. Right. Wild, wild, wild west. I wonder if Jesus is a Cowboys fan. Because he comes a horse and a rider. That's my blessing. That's my blessing. Nine times out of ten, you are giving 50 out of 100%. You have stepping. Did that add up? Because even if you get subtracted, you have leverage. And if this don't equal up, these multiple choice will keep you back guessing. Yes. I said yes. I'd have been through some stress. And I can hear God talking to me on both ends like a listening test. Turn me up in the speakers. Because I ain't going to never stop now. I heard the devil live next door. He called the cops on me because I didn't praise God's name too loud. I said, I'm so inventive. Even in the field, I'm so respected. And you can't reject them. I was saved by God's grace, not a devil in my ear. He's so defective. My soul's offensive. Like a radio, it's shocking to see it's so expensive. Right, 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 right. What I'm trying to tell y'all is, me and God got a relationship like a Bluetooth. I'm so connected. 
What I'm trying to tell you is, me and God got a relationship like a Bluetooth. I'm so connected. I can't handle another loss. Do y'all believe in a parallel universe? I do. My grandmother was teaching me to put my best foot forward. And that was during the time when they cut her off. Oh, but that is my description. When I have a headache, I have to take pills for that type of pain. But you are beyond prescription, Lord Jesus. I can dance too. I can salsa to that samba, hey. Ah. <laughs> and for God, I'll drop 81 points on this floor. Rest in peace to Black Mamba. Hold on. If you didn't know, God created the heavens and the earth. Right. And what's worse, they treat us like what God created us from, just straight dirt. I'm going to have to take a bath after this. The devil been putting ideas all in my face. You know, like dove, so I'm going to have to wash my sins away. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. They know what they do and know nothing of you, and in the end they're going to be saved. It wasn't no life in the whole city. And I think my pipe just burst. What you know about having a light candle to the house because it's cold? The lights off and the stove don't work. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Every morning when I wake up, Lord, to you I have to pray. And as it is in heaven, can you please give us this day? That's my daily bread. You was probably thinking that it was food for thought. See, I'm a motivational speaker. I even have to lift myself up because that's what I was taught. They be like, look at him. He's so short. I always have to bite my tongue so I won't say nothing wrong. Football, basketball, why won't you put me in the zone? Cartoons playing. I hear a ringing. Who's going to pick up the phone? It was really Stimpy. Bill Collectors, why won't you leave me alone? <laughs> The devil busy. He been trying to give me two dollar bills for my junk. But listen, Pastor, if you like me and you rock with God, you can take it to the altar. That's my definition of take it to the dump. I'm sick, but no disease. They throw salt and pepper. You're gonna sneeze. And I'm 34 years old. Don't you know I can bless you using my ABCs? Like, hey, before I see you decline my expectations. It's fine as long as you know God's history and if Jesus is waiting. Knowledge, love, men never obey. I struggle for my people. God had to put me in my place. And for asking cute questions, black people get erased. Even though it don't start with an R, you know. <laughs> Can you see what was on TV? It's about to burn my scalp. And you know I like to vent, so I went to XYZ. In other words, don't get me involved. Don't get me involved. In other words, I had to close my mouth. Don't get me involved. Mm. That's the devil. Come on now. That's all right. You got it. You got it. You got it. Come on. Work on it. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Come on. Thank you for my daughter some more. That's what it is. Thank you, Jesus. That's God, man. I said, don't get me involved. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Where is it? It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Don't get me involved. Got my enemies hopping up like a frog. And I'd rather go back to jail before I call my daughter a female dog, but you don't understand me. I thought we were supposed to be brothers and sisters in Christ. Is that right? They try to take my cornbread and they're not going to understand Ray's vision. It's just life. My daddy going to have to watch me make mistakes. You wasn't there when I got baptized in the holy water. I got respect for Pastor Ford, Reverend Holly, Reverend Easton, and Reverend Peter Rock. Ask me why. Why? Why? Because before I let my dad show me how to be a man, he got to deal with my forefathers. I was taught to live life on one accord. All right. My favorite job is being a waiter. Ask me why. Because there's no excuses when it comes to serving the Lord. Come on. Right. Yeah, that's right. Are you living or existing? We 
We all need to think on that. Ray Anthony Promise. Now that's how you spell rap. God bless y'all. <laughs> on the theme today, which is entitled, God Honor Strong Men of Faith. Amen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're dealing with two passages of scripture. One is coming out of 1 Corinthians 16, 13 through 14, and the second one be 1 Timothy 11 and 12. Amen? Amen. In chapter 16 of uh, 1 Corinthians, you'll find these words, be on the alert Stand firm in the faith, act like men, and be strong. Let all that you be, let all that you do be done in love. Right. Amen? Amen? Amen. Just to break this down, uh, in this particular pericope of scripture, the writer was encouraging the Christians to be strong, to be on guard, to stand firm as well as to be courageous. Amen? Amen. And that's, that, that's, that's our uh, uh, message to you on today. Right, right, uh, right, that, right. that we need to be on guard, All right. which means to stay alert and vigilant. Amen? Amen. Against spiritual dangers and such as false teaching and moral temptation. <laughs> but we're living in a day and time that we're being led or straight by false doctrine. Wow. Uh, Y'all gonna stay with me? So that means you have to have your spiritual antenna on at all times. That means to be on guard, watching out for those who are seeking to deceive you. Amen? Amen. And, and, then, and then it goes on to say to stand firm in the faith. Hold steadfastly to your belief. And the teachings of Christianity and not wavering in the face of challenges. In other words, my sisters and my brothers, the writer is telling us, listen there, stand firm to what you've been taught. Right, right. No, don't, don't be jumping from here to there, these different doctrines and different religions. Yeah. But you hold fast and stand firm yeah. to sound doctrine that has been instilled in you. Amen? Amen. And if you do that, you will be all right. Amen? Amen? But if you're jumping from... This religion to that religion, you have been tossed and turned with every wave of doctrine. Are y'all walking with me this morning? And some of us and many of us, look here, we're, we're still growing in Christ. Especially new converts. You don't have no business listening to this and that and all these different uh, uh, TV ministers. Y'all better hear me this morning. Yeah. Stick to your whole church and what you know is true and straight doctrine. All right? Amen. So stand firm. In your faith. Then he goes on and he says to be courageous. So, so show bravery. Resolve. Especially when facing opposition and difficulties. We're going to have difficulties in our lives. The Bible, the Bible never said it was going to be easy. But what you need to do is continue to look toward the hills 
for what's coming from your head. Right. Look, at, look, at, look at, you got to realize and understand who got you this far. Amen. And so, so I say it like this all the time. If this is working for you, why you want to change horses in the middle of the street? Amen. Your horse is running good. God has been faithful to you. He's been carrying you all your life. Yeah. So why do you want to switch up? Amen. Stand firm. Be strong. And be courageous. And watch this here. In everything and anything that you do, you make sure that love is the motive. Let y'all hear me? You, you know, make sure that love is the motive. This verse emphasizes that all actions should be motivated by love. Let me, let me tell you something. Some people have hidden agendas. Why they're doing certain things in your lives. But watch this here. We're not responsible how other folk act or how they respond to us. But we are responsible for how we act and how we respond. So hold on to God's unchanging hand. Amen. Now let's go to the second part of this, this passage for our of uh, our message on this morning by way of encouragement. Uh, and I'm a good out to have. Uh, we do have a preacher. Amen. Listen here, listen here. The second part of the text talks about uh, uh, 1 Timothy 6, Amen. verses 11 and 12. Amen. It reads, but flee. For these things, you man of God. Amen. Again, that, that word man, it, it can be neutral. I, I'm going to say it like this here. Children of God. Yeah, yeah. We, we're just not talking about the male figure, but we're talking about all of God's children. Male as well as females. Is that all right? He said, but flee from these things, you man of God, and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. Yeah. Verse 12 says, fight the good fight of faith. Yeah. Take hold of the eternal life. Yeah. To which you were called and you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Yeah. This, 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 this particular verse means to tell us that we need to flee from all these things. Paul is advising this young preacher Timothy about to avoid temptation. To avoid the pitfalls mentioned earlier in this chapter, such as the love of money. Sometimes we allow the world to lead us astray because we're seeking material things instead of, instead of spiritual maturity. And we get thrown off track. Y'all stand with me? But he said, look at flee these things. Don't, don't let these things become your main focus of reaching after money and materialistic things, which is great. But you keep those things in this proper perspective. Y'all hear what I'm saying? God said we can't serve God and man. Y'all want to stay with me for a minute? But he said, look here, flee those things. But what I want you to do, Brother Timothy, is to pursue righteousness, pursue godliness, pursue faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. My sisters and brothers, that's what we're encouraging you to do. Don't get caught up in this world, but you seek God first and seek spirituality. And he said, I had all these things to you. I believe that's Matthew 6 and 33, if I'm right. Look here, look here, look here. Let me go on and get through this thing and, and finish up here and get out the way. But he said, look here, that we need to pursue these things and cultivate virtues that reflect. A godly life. Look, look here. You came into a spiritual realm, so you need to be growing spiritually, and that people might see God in you. You shouldn't have to run around confessing that you're a Christian. They ought to see Christ in you. They ought to see a difference in you than from the world. Amen. 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 Look here. He goes on to tell us to take hold of the eternal life. Which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of men and witnesses. Hold true to your confession. Mm -hmm. You confess to be a child of God. Will live like it, walk like it, talk like it, yeah. witness like it yeah. with your lifestyle. Yeah. You know, your lifestyle is a better witness than what you say out your mouth. Yeah. 
Y'all hear what I'm saying? Folks say you doing one thing and you talking another thing. Hey man, I don't want to hear you. You talking one thing and doing another, like you got a double tongue and throat or something. Amen? Amen. But so we need to live what we're preaching. And he goes on to tell them to fight the good fight of faith. This is a metaphor that suggests that living a faithful Christian life requires efforts and perseverance, much like a soldier or an athlete. Because if we're going to prepare, we got to exercise. We, 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 we got to put forth the work. All right? We, we just can't just fall into it, but we have to practice what we preach. You know, you want your grandchildren to grow up and be a child of God? Well, you need to live like one of them in front of them. You, you want them to go to Bible study, show up in Sunday school? Well, you ought to be the first one there. Set the example. As a Christian leader. Amen. Amen. Then I'm going on finishing up with this one. He said, take hold of me to the life. Timothy is reminded to remain steadfast in his faith. Yeah. Holding on yeah. to the promises of eternal life. Yeah. And that he embraced when he publicly professed his faith. All these verses are telling us on this morning is the importance of living the life inconsistent with one's faith. Avoiding worldly Distractions, striving towards spiritual growth as well as eternal life. For we are living in a world full of distractions. May God bless you and keep it is our prayer. Amen. 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 Satisfied in the Lord. 
Amen. 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 Lord, we 
thank you, God, for this great celebration of our main annual day, Lord. Heavenly Father, God, we just want to say, God, be with us, God. Continue to be with us and continue to bless the remainder of this service, God. Heavenly Father, God, we ask you to lift up this offering, God. Let me for your kingdom and your glory, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
from any tree of the garden you may eat freely. All right. But from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat from it, you shall surely die. Amen. Uh, lastly, verse number 18. Then the Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him a help suitable for him. Out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the sky and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever he, the man, called the living creatures, that was his name. The man gave name to all of the cattle and all of the birds of the sky and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, that was not found a help suitable for him. So the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and he slept. Then the Lord took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh at that place. The Lord God fashioned it into a woman, the rib which he had taken from the man and brought her to him, to the man. And the man said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Amen. 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 May the Lord have a blessing to read and hear it to his word. Just want to talk just a little while about gentlemen working with God for greater. Amen. Gentlemen working with God for greater. If you work with God, there is great things coming your way. Amen. Amen. Gracious Father, now we ask, Lord, for your preaching power that we yes. may yes. help these your people. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 You may be seated. We thank God for an uh, opportunity to say a few words about these men. I want you to know that men are special. Amen. You are very special. And we thank God uh, uh, for the opportunity of being men. Uh, yes. But uh, I heard somebody say, James Brown said it wouldn't be nothing. Look at that. <laughs> a woman. Come on, help me if you can. We thank God for the woman also. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, because this is men day, I see in Psalm verse number chapter eight, verse number four, uh, and it says, uh, what, is "What is man that you take thought of him?" Uh -huh. Amen. Thanks. I gotta thank you by my uh, thank you, Lord, that you took thought thank you, God. of men. Yes. Amen. Yes. Right. Remember God. I want you to remember this: that God took your real yeah. to make the woman, yeah. but right. He didn't take your rights. Yeah. Come on, help me if you can. You. Yeah. We as men, we still have rights. Yeah. And because a woman was taken from our real, to, I mean, we were made from one our real, we ought to have respect Amen. for women. Because yeah. she's part of you. Now, come yeah. on, help me if you can. Uh, she is part of you, so you have to make sure you talk to her in a way that you will talk to your own self. Come on, help me if you can. You need to treat her the way you would treat your own self. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, when you're hungry, that means she, she, she get hungry too. So don't never leave your the woman out. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's your wife or just a woman member here, whatever uh, we can do to help women because she is a part of us. Amen. We all don't want to give. Come on, help me. Am I making sense here? Okay. Anything that we have we should share Amen. with the woman. Amen. 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 So I, I am so glad that I got a wonderful woman Amen. over there. Amen. 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 And, uh, and I got some things on my paper. Remember that recently? I already went over this. And uh, there's some things I may say uh, about my wife. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Uh, it's on my paper. Come on, help me if you can. Uh, uh, if you have the right to be uh, a man, you have the right to treat your wife like she is somebody and that she is a part of you. It, it's a right, you know what I'm saying? You just can't treat your wife no any kind of way. Right. You can't talk to her no any kind of way because she is part of you. Of you. Come on, you're not up in the men up in the end of the day. That after the day that you need to understand that that's you. 
Right. She's just a little different, you know what I'm saying? Come on, help me if you can. Without the woman, you know what I'm saying, we wouldn't have no children around here. Come on. Without the man, there wouldn't be no children around here. So we have to work together. Amen. Amen. You know what I'm saying? If you don't get nothing else from this, you need to understand that you need to work together with your wife. Come on, help me if you can. Now, uh, Reverend Carter gave me this that uh, 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 we, that we always talk. Uh, he said, now, if Charlotte got ready to leave, that might make sense here. Come on, uh, every now and then, everybody want to get mad, they want to leave. He'll, he'll tell them, uh, hold up, let me get my bag, too. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said, hold up, let me get mine, too, Charlotte. You know what so, so wherever he, she go, he going, too. You know what I'm saying? So every now and then, you'll have some arguments. You'll have yeah. uh, some dis uh, uh, breathing, but look here. Yeah. I'm going, too. Come on, let me get in the morning, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting up, too, trying to go get some money. I do all I can to try to satisfy my wife. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's right. And uh, uh, me and Rev Misa, me and Rev Misa, I, I got this on my paper. I got this on my paper. You know, and I'm going to tell you that uh, 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 there, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say it, back. I'm going to say it. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, uh, but, but I'm going to say this first. But can't know any man work for God. I'm going to know that men, man was working for God. God could have did this himself. Yeah, he yeah. created Adam himself. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, he could have created all everything you see. He could have done it himself, but he gave Adam a chance to do yeah. what he could have done. Yeah, yeah right. And I'm making sense. Yeah. And uh, but 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 like I said earlier, every man cannot work for God. Right. There are guidelines that you must have in order for you to work for God. Oh, uh, and then I got on my paper that. That are some qualifications. Okay. And then, but now, uh, uh, I got this, this man named Tyreek Hill okay. on my paper. Yeah. I know y'all know him. He's the fastest man in the NFL. Yeah. But now, he got stopped yeah. by the police. Yeah. And, 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 and he said, you, you, you don't know who I am. What it Come on, help me. Yeah, but don't make no difference who you are. You know what I'm saying? You are a man, and if you don't act right uh, with the police, you could have been killed. So uh, I want you to realize who you are as men. You are a man that was created in the image of God. You are somebody because God created you in his image. Come on, help me if you can. You are a man that uh, is a giver. You gave one of your ribs for your wife. So why in the world would you hurt somebody that's a part of you? Why in the world would you talk crazy to an individual that's part of you? Uh, she, she, she is a part of you. And if it had not been for a man and woman, you wouldn't see all these people around here. But God gave us an opportunity to work with him. Am I making sense? Amen. Uh, uh, you need to cherish the opportunity Amen. that you have to have a wife. Amen. Come on, help me if you can. Tell the truth. Am I, I making sense? Amen. Again, uh, I, I told my wife just the other day, you know, I, you know I, I might talk a good game, but I, I can't cook nothing. <laughs> I need, I need you, man. I'm gonna know. I said, I need <laughs> you, girl. I need you. Oh, bless me now, my my sugar. <laughs> hey, man, man. So you, you can act like you wanna act. Yeah, yeah. But I choose to do all I can. For my wife. Amen. 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 I choose to represent God because of what God done for me. Amen. Amen. I could have been dead and gone, sleeping in my grave, yeah. but God gave me another chance. So every time I get a chance, I'm saying, God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for, for, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for helping me to get down on my knees. Thank you, Lord, for helping me to get up off of my knees. How many know that the older you get, it's hard to get up? Am I making sense here? You know, uh, and, and I think I told, I think Mike, Mike and Reverend Mason, we talked. Uh, I was talking to somebody, I said, now, uh, Glory fooled me, but she did. Uh, uh, we went and bought furniture, right? Yeah. And I was so excited, you know what I'm saying? So I, you know, I told her, get whatever she wants, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, come to find out <laughs> that the furniture is so low. 
Because she's so short. So when I get up, man, it's almost like doing exercise. Just trying to, trying to get off all the, everything around there. And Lord, ain't, ain't nothing there that would fit me. And I started looking, I said, man, everything around here is low. <laughs> so it's, it's hard to get up. But because she is a woman, yeah. because she is a part of me, right. you got to go along with stuff. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Am I making sense here? Yeah. It might not be the right thing for you, but it, 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 it brings happiness yeah. in the home. Yeah. Am I making sense here? You know what I'm saying? We got to do all we can to, to, to make sure we are, are, are treating that woman like she's a part of us. Now, now this is men's day, right? Yeah. You know, for any man besides me, uh, uh, married, I got, 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 got a woman. Yeah, yeah. Well, because she is a part. All right. She's a part of you. You know what I'm saying? Do you walk around slapping your own self? Do you walk around cussing your own self out? Do you walk around? You know what I'm saying? Not giving nothing to your own self. Anybody here that every now and then you 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 go to Burger King like me? No. no. Treat yourself, you know what I'm saying? So every now and then, because she is a part of you, you need to treat her. Yes. Every now and then. It's supposed to be men's day, right? Yes. I, I'm trying to teach men on how that you should treat your wife. Yes. How you should treat your mother. Yes. Any woman should be treated with royalty. Amen. Because Amen. she's a part of some man's yeah. body. Yeah. Amen. Am, am I making sense here? But I, I, I got it in parentheses here. You gave your real, yeah. not your rights. Now, you still got a right. Huh? You are still the man of the house. You are still one that God will hold in contempt. Uh, anybody know anything about contempt? Uh, uh, and how many of you know about being under oath? Uh, uh, you're under oath. I hear Perry Mason always telling me, he said, uh, the judge said, now you know you're still under oath. You know what I'm saying? You are still under oath. You married her. She yours. You need to treat her. Now I heard somebody, treat her like a lady. Oh, y'all act like I don't know what I'm going to talk about. You got you got and then, and I heard somewhere and they said, and she'll give in to you. They missed it on that side. I said, now, if you treat her like a lady, she will give in to you. You know what I'm saying? Am yeah. I making sense on this side? Yeah. Uh, if you want something, treat her like yeah. a lady. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When you talk bad to her, you're talking to yourself. I mean, if we just get, if we just get these concepts, yeah. that whatever you do to your wife or your mother, your aunt, you're doing it to yourself. Am I making sense, brother? Yeah. Yes. But, 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 uh, Psalm 8 and 4 say, What is man? That what? He would take thought of him. Remember that. I want you to remember that God uh, took thought of you. God could have done all of this that you see without a man. Wasn't nobody around with it. Adam got created. He just created. So, why does he need us? God could have done it all by himself, but he gave us an opportunity right. to partner with God. Amen. That, that's a great opportunity to, to, to partner with God. You know what Amen. I'm saying? Look here. And, and, and remember, remember uh, uh, Elder Carter. You know what I'm saying? When, 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 you know, when your wife get mad and get ready to leave, say, well, hold up, sugar. Let me get my, my, my suitcase too. Because I'm, I'm, going, I'm going right along with you. you know what I'm saying? So that, what I'm saying to you all, you know what I'm saying, that uh, uh, we need to forget about divorce and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't nobody listening on that side. Yeah, right? yeah. I said, I said, we need to forget about divorce. Uh, yeah. Every now and then, uh, if she get mad, talking about she leaving, you leaving too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, and if she got a phone, you can find out where she at. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can call somebody to find out what's yet. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> man, I'm going to. Uh, you get mad all you want to. You know what I'm saying? That, that happens. Uh, but I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something else. I'm, I'm almost there. <laughs> but uh, 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 
Uh, there's three things I want you to remember in this text. Uh, the first thing is God has to be pleased with your waiting attitude. Uh, he has to be pleased. Now, we're talking about men. Now, if, if you want to be a man after God's own heart, if you want, if you want God to use you, you God has to be pleased with your waiting attitude. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You can't have everything you want when you want. Uh, 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 and, and, and you know, I, I, I never I never did know, I'm, I'm here now, you know what I'm saying? I never did know how pitiful I was looking. You know, I was looking, I was looking, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, I, I was dating blurry, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and I would drive all the way to the woodland. Amen. With expectation yeah. of at least getting a kiss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, am I making sense here? Yeah. And then, and then uh, as we go out and eat and all that different kind of stuff, come back to the house, get ready to go. Okay. And I, I, I try to get me a little kiss. And she said, oh, no, I don't do that. Hey. I said, what? Yeah. She said, no, oh, that might lead in something. I got on my paper, glory. It might be to something. So she would even give me a kiss. And then I would ride all the way back to Houston. Sit, man. You know what I'm saying? And then when I run into Rev. Meese, Rev. Meese said, man, what's wrong, man? He said, I was looking so pitiful, man. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know how I was looking. And I said, man, I said, man, what's wrong? He said, what's wrong? I said, man, I rode all the way to the world. <laughs> With expectation of at least getting a kiss before I go. Come on, help me if you can, man. I done went out and ate dinner. I done paid for the dinner. You know what I'm saying? I ate and she that gold quarter, so I would go get gold quarter, give her okay. gold quarter, and all that kind of stuff. And she said, see you. <laughs> I, I, I got that in there because it was a waiting, what? A waiting attitude. That's the kind of attitude that she had. She said, before she do that, I had to be her Husband, because it would lead into something. So uh, you have to have a waiting type of attitude. Even if you're a man, for things that you want, you can't get ahead of God. Come on, help me if you can. You got to stay with God. You can't go ahead of God because the devil wants you to go ahead of God. The devil wants you to get more than a kiss if y'all if y'all kiss that when you get home. But now, uh, when you got the waiting type of attitude. I want you to know that it will work out for you yeah. a whole lot better. Yeah. Uh, you will be respected. You will be yeah. honored by God. Come on, help me if you can. Now, 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 now. If, 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 if God made it, would have told Adam what he was going to get, he probably would have he'd been a whole different person. Amen. He still messed up, you know what I'm saying? But, but, but he would have been way off the change yeah. if he knew everything he was getting. But God did all of that for Adam. And he didn't even know he was going to get it. Amen. And then I can just imagine him saying, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't got to go there. Look at him. I can go right here. Uh, uh, I, I, I couldn't wait for her to be called fool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's, there's a whole lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that comes with the last name. Come on, help me if you can. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and when you wait, if you, you just hold on for a little while, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get some men to hold on here. Just a little while, you know what I'm saying? And then it, 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 it'll be pleasing in the eyesight of God. <coughs> uh, if you already done it, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Put him on hold now. <laughs> you know what I'm Come on, help me if you can. I'm going to know that, 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 that God wants you to do it the right way, you know what I'm saying? Because when you do it the right way, there's a whole lot of benefits come with doing things right. You know what I'm saying? I, if you know already done, don't worry about it. Uh, teach your children to do it right. Teach your grandchildren to do it right. Teach people that you know to do it the right way because it's a blessing when you have the waiting attitude. Amen. See, when you don't wait, you don't have no respect. You do what you want to do. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I got to remember here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he tell me, I'll, I'll do whatever I want to do. Amen. You know what I tell you, brother? I said, you sure can. But you can't do it here. Amen. Uh, God wants you as a man 
to be his man. And then when you God's man, you got to act like you God's man. You got to walk like you God's man. You got to talk like you God's man. See, and, 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 and when you do that, God got a blessing for you. Amen. Ain't that good deal? Oh, yeah. That God will bless you if you just do things the right way. Yes. And if you're a young lady right here tonight, today, take the glory of your attitude. Let that individual wait. Yeah. Huh? Boy, I'm getting a whole bunch of folks in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make them wait, and then if she leaves, get say, well, hold up, sugar. I'm, 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 let me get my suitcase, too. I'm going with you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Carter gave me that a long time ago. So, 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 we have to, if we get some of these precepts, it'll be a whole lot less divorce. Uh, it'll be a whole lot of children, unwedded, children. Uh, it's just good for everything around you. Yeah. When you do it God's way, huh? I heard somebody say, now Greenwood ain't here, but uh, Wayne Hunter, y'all know him, my, my friend, he helped us when we didn't have musicians. Yeah, yeah. He said, God's way or no way at all. Right. And when you do things God's way, it's gonna work. Yeah. You're right. You can't lose when you do it in God's way. And Adam didn't lose but look here, in a sense, Adam gave his rib up. Yeah. And he gave his rights. Yeah. Yeah. Because God told him yeah. what not to do. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I ain't God, but I'm telling you what not to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when she makes you mad, exercise. Yeah. What I mean by that? Take a walk. Lord, Lord, you gave me, Lord, you know what I'm saying? Talk to the Lord, folks. You know what I'm saying? Don't put your hands on them because uh, nowadays you might get shot or whooped. Some of these women got out whooped. Uh, they, 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 some of these women are whooped in. Uh, Y'all ain't fooling me, you know what I'm saying? But look you, you need to understand whenever she makes you mad, you exercise. And you talk to God while you doing it. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Uh, because this man's day, I'm talking to men. Now, if it was Women's Day, I'd be talking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I ain't saying the woman do everything right. Yeah. But I'm saying when she makes you mad, yeah. take a walk. Yeah. Lord, you said. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Am I making sense? Yeah. Uh, uh, and a whole lot of stuff in here that I, that I need you to understand. Your wedding attitude also consists in you. Oh, I'm finna get in trouble now. I'm, I'm finna get in trouble now. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it. Like Can I go ahead and tell you? Yeah. That means that mean you can't have no two or three women. Amen. 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 Am I making sense? I'm talking to men here. Yeah. Women don't do that kind of stuff. What? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But I'm saying that, that, that if you're a woman and you want God, I mean, if you're a man and you want God to be pleased with you, uh, you got to you 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 got to remember that you have to treat them the way God wants you to treat them. Amen. And uh, what's that man? Was it Joe Tex? What of them said, if you treat them like, huh? What was his name? You know what I'm saying? He said, she'll give in to you. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. So, so just remember the more you do for your wife as a man, the more she's going to give in to you. Huh? And then if you do things right and wait, look at In time, you know, y'all oh, get, y'all get that. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all kept that there with that. They can make me Sunday, Monday, you know what I'm saying? Early in the morning, late in the evening, you know what I'm saying? Anytime. You know what I'm saying? Anytime. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have made a commitment, you know what I'm saying? Am I making sense? You know what I'm saying? So, 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 try doing things God's way. And God wants you to have a waiting type of attitude. And I guarantee you, it's going to always pay off. Amen. And, and, and especially if you're if you're a preacher. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I say if you if you're a preacher, commit to do it. Oh. I wonder why 
I got so quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as a matter of fact, I mean, you're cheating on your wife. Well, and you're disrespecting well. God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it just makes you, make you look bad. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, 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 you know, uh, it's almost like being a felon. A felon. Yeah. Anybody know what felon is? Felon is? Yeah. Uh, and especially if it's aggravated. Yeah. It means somebody talked about this already this morning, you know what I'm saying? If it's aggravated, okay, that means you are high ritual, criminal, criminal. Yeah, and you can't get a gun, but you know what I'm saying? You can't do this, you can't do that. I mean, uh, when it's aggravated, it will never get off your record, you know what I'm saying? I don't care how good you've been, it, 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 it won't come off. Yeah. Amen. And you know what? You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I went in the, I went in the, in the, in the pawn shop. Well, I'm a man. I've been clean. You know what I'm You know, I've been clean for you know, for, you know, at least 10, 15 years when that happened. Yeah. So I went in there. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that 357 <laughs> magnet. He said, "Okay, well, good, good. Give me your ID." I said, "I thought things were going good." He said, "I gave, I gave him an ID." He came back. Said, he called me up. Right that N-word, if you don't get your oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. you know you can't have no gun, man, get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? He told me to get up out of there because when you are a habitual yeah. criminal, yeah. you can't have no gun. Uh, uh, when you are habitual uh, adulterous, yeah. you don't need a woman. Yeah. I'm talking to men now. Yeah. Uh, you 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 just should not have one because Amen. you can't be trusted. Amen. Yeah. Oh, there's, 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 there's nobody, I, I don't know why it gets so quiet here when I'm talking about <laughs> stuff that folks ought to be celebrating about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, uh, if, if, when, when, if you get you if you want your woman, yeah. you should have had all the fun before you got with her. Right. Now you need to be faithful to yeah. her. Like you said yeah. in the uh, in the vow, you know, I was in the web yesterday. The, the, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you made a vow. Yeah. Uh, you put a ring on her finger, yeah. and you did it in the presence of God. Of God. Amen. 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 And then, and then, uh, you don't have to be put on hold no more. Amen. And then I gave you some more. I gave you another nugget that when she gets mad at me, he said, hold up, let me get my suitcase too. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, when, she, when she go, I'm coming with you. I'm going too. Uh-huh. But I, I want y'all to understand, we got to change the way the trend is going. You know, the voices are up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, sometimes it gets so bad, you know what I'm saying, to You know, man said, man, I'll do better with another man. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, that's what's happening in the world today, the day that, you know, the world that we live in, brother. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to throw this in for free. You know, I like pretty feet. Huh, smells good. Put it all on and all that. Yeah, you know, you know, man, you know, yeah. <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Now you don't have too many men. Like, <laughs> <laughs> those type of feet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing else you can do. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand. Uh, I, I want me, I want me, I want me a good girl. You know what I mean? Pretty girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, where's Jeremy at? Uh, yeah, well, you know, you know, me and Jeremy, Jeremy said, man, you got to have pretty feet to get my attention. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? When Bruce Watson turned me on glory, I, I was over there at King Church, and she walked out to a car, and the first thing I was doing. Look. <laughs> Like I said, if the feet is good, that says something about a woman, man. You know what I'm saying? If you got nasty, dirty feet, I just imagine how it. Is. I'm going to my next part. Not only, not only should you have, uh, uh, God has to be pleased with your wedding 
turn to. Now you're looking to, for greater. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, when you want to be a great man, you have to have the right attitude. And secondly, uh, when you have the right attitude, God will promote you because of your working attitude. Yeah. Can I help some women up in here that if, 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 if the rascal ain't got no job, you know what I'm saying? That's a sign right there. If he ain't working, you know what I'm saying? What you, you don't need him? I said, I don't care who I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? If you can go cut grass now, especially after the hurricane, you can pick up leaves, limbs, you can do something. But look here, uh, you've got to have a job. That's my, that's my daughter, that's my baby girl right there. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, J.W., he worked four or five jobs. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, J.W. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. J.W. is a great man. Yeah, all right. Yeah, he's a great man. Uh, you know, I, 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 I love me some J.W. <laughs> and he left-handed. Everybody in his family left. I mean, he left-handed, she left-handed, mm. Logan left-handed. Mm. Yeah. They left him. Okay. And, and, and I'm crazy about J.W. He's a good man. And so, you know, I, I didn't have to put a lot of pressure on him. I had to put a lot of pressure on Corn because I didn't know about him. <laughs> and Corn still got some, he's still mad at me. Look, if you're going to get one of my dogs, that's right, that's what we'll say. Uh -huh. you got to go through yeah. the process. Come on, help yeah. me if you can. You know, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go through the process. They can't let anybody get down one of my dogs. Right. Amen. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we had one. Yeah, he, he, he quit. He quit, man. You know, and he said, I can't have a car. Me and Chip, told, what we say, Chip? Man, you can be in, down at TCU. Mm. And we'll show up at the table. Mm. Huh? Yeah. He went and told his dad. Mm. I ain't seen him since. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good for J.W., you know what I'm saying? That's right. It was good for J.W., you know what I'm saying? So, so man, you, you, you got to be in your, you got to love your daughters enough to get off of that book. That's right, Pastor Boy. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Yeah, you got to do it. And then if you want to be blessed, mm -hmm. you got to do it God's way. Yeah. Or uh, no way at all. Ain't no other way going to help. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I have to tell you the truth. It will not help, and God will not bless mm -hmm. nothing but the way he set it up. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Adam had everything he needed, yeah. but he got weak, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was the old, old preacher, you know what I'm saying? He said that uh, Eve had already ate. Amen. And then she caught Adam. Yep. And uh, she said he was bald headed back then. Yeah. And yeah. Bruno had he cut off something, I don't know. But she started rubbing <laughs> on his head. <laughs> she rubbed that head. And uh, uh, he said, don't give me a bite. <laughs> and we've been in trouble every time. Every if you do things God's way, yeah. Yeah. I'm getting ready to get out of here. I'm going to get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? When you do it God's way, well, I got blur on my face. You, you yeah. shouldn't have sex before marriage. Amen. Uh, I know, I know. I'm, I'm just telling you for the people that's, that's uh, like Abraham now. I'm talking about Abraham now. Right. Uh, 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 because God does not. What? what, what um, Who? Condone. He does not honor uh, sex. Before man. Huh? He does not honor you cheat or your husband or your wife. Amen. Am I making sense? Yes. God does not honor, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 me and Sherman being in the bed together. Yeah. You don't honor that, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Huh? Yeah. But how, how, that, how that look, hmm. me and Sherman? No, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. God is not gonna. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, I don't care what nobody say. I'm telling, I'm telling you what the Bible says. If you got a problem with that? Take it up with the law. Amen. So uh, I'm talking about a gentleman working with God for greater. Uh, so uh, the first thing that you have to be, God has to be pleased with your waiting attitude. Yes. Amen. God will promote you because of your working attitude. Yes. And then lastly, God will. Amen. I'm going to get out of here. Amen. I said, God will prepare you a prison. Yes. 
to help you work and your witness. Am I making sense here? Uh, anybody here want to be pleasing to the Lord? Uh, you just do things the way God said do it. You might have a little trouble here and there. But God will work it out. And I guess we come up in here. Uh, ain't God good at all. But just look back there uh, at, at kid folks back there. Uh, been mad in a long time. Uh, and heard the hurt from still uh, working things out. Uh, ain't God good at all. Uh, and I get some help up in here. Uh, that if you do things uh, the way God wanted done. Uh,
you I did this, I did this, I did try to help. You don't say depart from me. Huh? If you don't know Jesus, huh? Can, can I just be real here? Folks know more about the Houston Texans than they know about Jesus. Uh -huh. I know how this on that side. I said, I, I said, now people know more about the Houston Texans. They buy they are fast stickers all on the car and all that different kind of stuff. But now when it comes to Jesus, huh. if you don't know nothing about it, huh? so I love the Lord because He heard my cry. Yeah, I love the Lord because He had pity on my groan. I love the Lord because uh, he died, uh, didn't he die? Yeah. I said, didn't he die? Uh, but, uh, Drive the heart till I get the rate. Make a 
right. Go on down. Before you know it, a couple more turns. Come right there now. So you ought to know that about Jesus. What does it take for you to get saved? You need to remember that. They call it the plan of salvation. You know, I, you know, I, I want you to know it's so, so good to, I, I, got a, I got a full spiritual law book. That I challenge anybody here that will memorize the full spiritual law, I'm giving you 100 
everybody that helped the church. He did call me and told me he was coming. He know Greenwood. I didn't know he knew Greenwood, but Greenwood's a little sick today. But glad to have you and Brother Roscoe. Mr. Roscoe stayed right across the street from me. I used to cut his grass and all that kind of stuff. I knew him for Patrick. No, he probably don't know that, but I've been knowing Mr. Roscoe. And all the rest of you that is here, I want you to know I'm glad to see you. May God bless you and keep you. Please go to the other side and have uh, some food. Thank you, Brother Mitch. Man, can't, man, can't forget Mitch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 thank you for being here. Amen. Amen. Uh, J.W. Do you know? 
If he cut your hair and you don't know, mm. well, you asked him then. <laughs> to God be the glory of all he has done. Amen. And that's Kevin's mama back there. How you doing, Sister Kevin? All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mother-in-law. That's right. Well, I have my mother My mother-in-law. Amen. Also, I want to thank, uh, you know, the pastor said we did it. How does that man's word go, pastor? Huh? It's a man's word. It wouldn't be a right without a woman. That's right, that's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. So that, that, that we're going to serve you lunch on behalf of the brethren of this church. Amen. Amen. And I would like to personally thank Sister Greenwood. My wife, my wife was uh, at a conference. Huh? Tom and Beverly was at a conference. But my wife did come to try to assist us. So she left the conference. And came to help out. Amen. Bible study next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Amen. Okay, this Tuesday. Right. And I want to thank all the brethren who participated on the program. You all look great. Yeah. Thank you, brethren. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To God be the glory. To the glory. He was telling. Yeah, he does. He did that. He did that. Right. He, he did that. He did that. He did that. Yeah. Yeah. Ray Hallway. Yeah. Ray Hallway. Ray top line. Be right. Be right. He just jumped in there. Come on, let's do some reaching. Get from what you got. You got something? 